Good morning, dear students. Today we talk about academic degree and uh, higher education in Great Britain. First of all, I would like to give some information about academic degrees. So there are four types of college degrees, including association degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree, and finally a doctor's of philosophy. These degrees are based on various educational programs and curricula. Each type of these degrees plays its own set of critical roles in career advancement, intellectual fulfillment, and personal satisfaction for different people. The degree you choose will largely be based on the type of career you wish to have and what the requirements are for the job you want. Here is a list of the types of diff degrees offered in colleges and different colleges degree levels in order types of associate degrees. The Associate of Arts, this degree requires students to complete a coursework of 60 hours including courses in general education and other courses related to the degree program. A uh, degree is often rewarded in liberal art areas like English, music, or history. AC, Associate of Science. It focuses on science and requires students to complete many hours of house coursework in general education. Common AC programs include biology and chemistry. AC, Associate of Applied Science, it is designed to ready students to join the working world. There are several types of this degree, including programs in business or engineering. AE, Associate of Engineering, focuses on engineering. AAA, Associate of Applied Arts, deal with applied arts. And the last one, APS, Associate of Political Science, mainly focused on political science. Types of bachelor's degree, Bachelor of Arts, it's considered the widest bachelor's degree. The Bachelor of Arts degree focuses on art but also requires the students to take some general education classes. Bachelor of Science. It usually covers majors such as engineering, physics, accounting, or business, or any of the sciences. ABC degrees require some general studies courses. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Professional actors, dancers, singers, sculptors, and painters are perfect candidates for this degree. Bachelor of Fine Art degree is also offered in fields such as digital media and web design, Bachelor of Business Administration. BBA degree often covers courses in management strategy, decision making and even organizational psychology. You should opt for this course if you aspire to be a general manager. So Bachelor of Architecture, this is a degree program that future architects must complete. And here I will talk about types of master's degree. Masters of Arts, it can cover various graduate studies. This include education, communication, social science and music. And the second one is Master of Science. This degree could be earned in a wide range of science, health, and even social science professions. Major focus is on research, so a few courses can have a combination of research-based courses and class-based courses. Master of Research. It is designed to offer training on how to carry out a research. Master of Research may help you a lot if you intend to pursue a research career or PhD. Master of Philosophy. It is a research-only degree and is often a precursor of to PhD. Most PhD students register for this degree in their initial one and two years of study and must produce a report after his period to change their registration status to that of a PhD student. And the last one, Master of Laws. This degree usually takes one year at a full-time program or two 
or three years is a part time course. While professional law degrees just have a general coverage of all the skills required to become an attorney. LLM would give you an opportunity to, to specialize, become an attorney. LLM would give you an opportunity to specialize and master of business administration. These degrees are often designed for management professionals with some experience, intensive and demanding. MBA focuses on creating future successful business leaders. And the last type of is a types of doctorate degrees. Doctor of Philosophy, these are research-based doctorate degrees often awarded to recognize peer-reviewed published academic research. And the second one is a Doctor of Medicine. This is most advanced degree for medical students and must be complicated to professionally practice medicine. And the third one is Doctor of Education. This is the highest level degree of education in the educational field. And the most people who hold this degree often work in administrative research or academic position related to education. The last one is Juris Doctor. This degree is almost advanced, one available for lawyers in the US. Uh, thesis is typically not required the GD degree program. Now look at this presentation and uh, we talk about opportunities for British schools and uh, levels and the exams and types of British universities and the degrees of higher education in Great Britain. So the opportunities for British school leavers at the age of 16 school children are free to leave schools. Some go straight out and look for a job and uh, of such school leavers, those who find no immediate employment take part in training schemes which involve on the job training, combine the part-time college courses. So, at the age of 16, many school leavers decide to stay in full-time education. School leavers stay in their schools to attend a six forms and school leavers have to leave their schools and go to a six form college or college or further education. The school doesn't have a six form. The school does not teach desired subjects. Opportunities for British school leavers uh, in the education system of England, Wales and Northern Ireland, a sixth form represents the final two years of secondary education. We are students, typically between 16 and 18 years of age, prepare for the A-level or equivalent examinations. It all has happened because the first five years of English secondary schooling were previously known as forms. So, and we talk about the, another opportunities of British school. So, the, uh, the system was changed in 1990s and school years are now numbered. Year 7 is the first year at a secondary school and year 13 is the last year at school. An increasing number of school leavers do training courses or particular jobs and careers. And, the, and now we talk about the exams in Britain schools. At the age of 60, school children pass in England, Wales and Northern Ireland GCSE exams. Uh, so it's a general certificate of secondary education and the system of marks is from A to G. In Scotland uh, it's named SCE exams, uh, Scottish Certificate of Education. <coughs> the system of marks is in numbers. Number first is the best degree for them. 
and A level are exams based after completing a sixth form college or sixth form at the age of 18 in England, Wales and in Northern Ireland also as well. SCI hires are the Scottish equivalent of A levels. Typically, a student will pass three uh, levels and uh, besides that there are GNVQ it means general national vocational qualification and there are these are courses and exams in job related subjects which are studied at the colleges of further education and are divided into five levels the first level is equivalent to GCSE and the third level to A levels uh, between SCE hires. There are no right of entry to university for anybody in Britain. University selects students on the basis of A level results and interviewers. The course of studies in England, Wales and Northern Ireland is three years, but uh, for modern languages and certain vocational studies are four years. In Scotland, four years is a norm uh, for most subjects. And now we talk about types of universities in Great Britain. So, Oxford University. Uh, as you know, Oxford and Cambridge is the oldest university in Great Britain. So they are a federation of the semi-independent colleges and each college has its own staff known as fellows. The fellows teach the students either none as a one-to-one -one or in a small groups. Uh, it means tutorials and supervisors. So, and the last uh, lecturers and lab works are organized at the university level. And uh, before 1970, all our Oxbridge colleges were single sexes. Nowadays, the majority admit both sexes, and both uh, the girls and the boys are studied together. Now, uh, you can see the picture of the Oxford University. It's a famous university in the world. And uh, now we talk about the old Scottish universities. They are Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen and St. Andrews. St. Andrews resembles Oxbridge and Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen resemble civic universities. In all of them, the pattern of education is closer to the continental than to the English one. And here you can see the picture of Glasgow University. It's also the ancient university of the Glasgow. So, the early 19th century English universities, uh, the University of London is a representative of this group. Each college is almost a separate university. Colleges are non-residential. Here you can see the picture of the University of London. The oldest civic were or Red Brick universities. Used to be various institutions with a technical bias. A period in main industrial cities such as Leeds, Birmingham and Manchester were built of local material, often brick in contrast to the stone ones, prepare students for London University degree and uh, were given the right to award their own degrees and became universities. Here you can see the picture of Leeds University. So new civic universities uh, such as Aston and Salford the original technical colleges in 1970s became polytechnics were allowed to teach degree courses in 1990s most of them became universities their notable features is a sandwich course 
under the Camp University. Purpose built institutions located in the countryside but close to towns uh, such as Las Angeles, Lancaster, and Sussex. New academic disciplines are introduced, such as social studies, teaching in small groups known as seminars. And here you can see the Sussex University. And uh, as you see, uh, uh, they have talked uh, about the degrees. So you get acquainted with the degrees of bachelor, degrees of master degree, and doctorate degree. Uh, I think uh, you get more information about the British educational system. Thank you for your attention.